My earliest memory of painting and drawing is my grandma used to have these stone animals in the garden, little sculptures, and I used to colour them in with felt tip pen. Um, that's probably my earliest memory of any kind of drawing or painting. It's funny that it's animals. I realised I wanted to be an artist about three years ago when I took on oil painting properly. So before then, I'd used kind of mixed media and different things and I would just do that in my spare time. I kind of did a lot of research into oil paints so that I could use them. And from there, that's when I, I knew I wanted to take it more seriously. I have been thinking about my theme for this collection for a long time. With there being a few different sections through the collection, that was quite selfishly for my benefit <laughs> because it's just I wanted to work on everything at once. All the new techniques that I had on my mind that I wanted to try and I needed a lot of space for it. It started to take shape really, really early on. I think because I'd been waiting to do it and I kind of had a lot of things in my mind like different palettes and different shapes and compositions that I wanted to use. So it just kind of poured out. I recently launched my new collection, 21 Grams, in Edinburgh. The architecture is stunning. It seems like everywhere you turn, there's a nice building or a nice view. The exhibition was really exciting for me. I was really nervous about it. I've been working on all of these paintings for quite a while and I hadn't really shown many people them. Really, really interesting to talk to people about the collection because they see something different in it that I might not have noticed myself. So they might appreciate a certain texture or color palette that maybe happened by accident. To see the work hang up in the gallery is always quite surreal because they are in my living space for months and then all of a sudden they're quite formal and framed and up in a gallery setting with people looking at them. You do feel quite vulnerable because you have put everything into something and in a way, even if it doesn't seem like it, even if it is a tiger which doesn't look like it's much to do with me, for some reason it is very, very personal, even if it doesn't look it. I think people engaged with the work because there was quite a different set of themes throughout. So you've got a family scene where you've got a bear that's providing for its cubs or you have stags kind of stood as a family. You, you know, you can see quite a big difference between the people who like that sort of work or maybe the figurative. There is quite a divide on who connects with what. Art to me is about the process rather than the finished product. It's, it's personal to everyone. I think it's just a big collection of everything that you have learned or seen or enjoy or, or connect with. They don't have to enjoy it, they might not like it. And it's all just in one outcome.